any coaching material is a material from major reference books okay so i would say if you are able to even cover 70% of the entire coaching material you are a topper but that won't happen so i did a reverse planning initially when in class 3 4 years when i was preparing it was always i used to plan ki abhi exam 8 mahine dur hai abhi pre karte hain phir mains karte hain to kya hota tha ki usually every time it would happen that uh, exam se ek 15 20 din pehle bhi mera syllabus pending rehta tha kuch na kuch pending rahega और क्या होता था कुछ ना कुछ बीमारी आ जाएगी या कुछ हो जाएगा आई हैव सम रीजंस दैट आई एम नॉट प्रिपेयर ऑन द डे ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन सो व्हेन आई फिगर्ड फिगर्ड दिस आउट आफ्टर 3 4 अटेम्प्ट्स फेलियर्स सो व्हाट आई डिड इज आई स्टार्टेड रिवर्स क्या उल्टा करते हैं आई डिड नॉट कीप ब्रेक्स एज इन स्टडी ब्रेक्स फ्रॉम स्टडी आई केप्ट देम एज पर्क्स एंड इंसेंटिव्स सो पीपल अराउंड मी वुड टेल यू हु वर देयर इन माय लाइब्रेरी आल्सो इफ आई स्टडी फॉर 7 डेज Five, six and a half. I have never studied on Sunday evening. I would write it on blank page. I never, I can never study on Sunday evening. So I have a psychological thing that Sunday is a break. So good evening, everyone. Hi. Uh, so we have with us Mr. Prabhat, who secured rank three three seventy seven, All India rank three seventy seven in twenty nineteen, and he got his rank along with the full time job. while preparing since because while preparing also he got his rank in his fifth attempt while preparing full time. Uh, with the job and so look, because since he had already clear state pcs also in between so despite the challenges of full time job and previous setbacks he had managed to crack upsc not just once but twice also so in a way Prabha- mr prabhat you are like a embodiment of determination and perseverance in the realm of upsc journey so uh, without further ado let's type deep into his strategies and like experiences especially focusing on how to manage this time management most importantly the importance of time management and consistency in the journey so i welcome you i'm thrilled to welcome you here the beacon of hope for all the upsc aspirants so uh, since i was just uh, i was just talking with the students also mr prabhat that this topic is not only important for working professional the, the time management and consistency is also the similar it holds a similar importance for the people who are working who are preparing full time also right so yes yes especially in this stage right so just if you could just briefly recount your journey like upsc journey that how did you manage after every attempt how did you manage the courage how did you muster the courage to go on the drive to go on like what was the biggest push around you just to give you background yeah to give you right. background about to our students yes. uh uh thank you So am I audible? First of all, yes. trying to connect with the audio. <clears throat> yeah, clear to everyone. Yes, yes, you're audible. See, uh, uh, I there are two type of strategies I would say that uh, uh, I've I've had in my preparation phase. I starting I started as a full time person who would you know dedicated dedicated entire day for preparation, and then I finished. uh as a person who was working also and was also giving my exams so uh, uh, we need to understand that our strategy will always change according to the time but yes the time management is the main crux so even if you're preparing full time and uh, if you're studying 12 hours but you're studying those things which can be actually finished in 7 or 8 hours so uh, you're just uh, sitting there for 12 hours so this is not good time management so whatever you do you have to plan your day and when you get into civil services these days it is not like pehle jaisa ki you come in with a 10 year plan hai na ki upsc ke alawa life mein kuch ho nahi sakta because now you have multiple exactly. options every day so you cannot be so like a drastic that uh, you start today and uh, you have a five year plan no no and the competition is so much that uh, even a person who gets a good rank this year he does not even manages to clear the prelims next year yes hai na so you cannot procrastinate ki main is saal itna kar leta hu is saal main pre de deta hu pre clear karta hu next year main mains ki taiyari karunga fir fir se pre dunga fir pre clear karunga so now i think so civils has a total dynamic approach you have to come with a deadline for yourself unlike earlier times you have to come with a deadline if you're working if you're not working you have to come with a deadline ki 4 years 3 years 5 years whatever the thing is 2 years of dedicated preparation is needed currently according to my observation 
first year you do your coaching if not coaching you study with your mentor you prepare your syllabus and one honest attempt honest attempt is aur koi exam nahi de rahe hum sirf 100% dedicatedly ek hi target ko leke chal rahe because you might have issues at home kuch hoga burden but then again you have to make that sacrifice that for one attempt you totally focus your energy on upsc and have no divergence because i personally believe mera personal belief ye hai ki agar प्लान बी पे काम करना है विच इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट यू शुड है प्लान बी नो डाउट बट उसके लिए प्लान ए में ईमानदारी से फेल होना जरूरी है यू नीड टू फेल वेरी मेटिकुलसली इन प्लान ए ओनली देन यू शुड स्टार्ट प्लान बी इफ यू हैव नॉट वर्क वेरी वेल फॉर योर प्लान ए सो इट इज नेवर अ फेलियर इट इज जस्ट इट्स नॉट अ फेलियर फेलियर इज वेन यू पुट योर हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड देन यू डू नॉट गेट इट देन इट इज अ फेलियर ना राइट so how did you yeah. manage to balance both like how did you ma- manage like not, not like neither of them suffered like how did you manage balance that because uh, uh, if you could uh-huh. just like how was your typical day like what was the routine that audience will be keen to understand that how was your daily routine that can help you make the routine also like in so the- for so for working people uh, i think so uh, one thing is sure that uh, they have a limited time so they have uh, one thing the good part with them is with limited time they are more focused and they do limited study wo faaltu ka gyan hi batone jaate hain ye bhi dekh le ye bhi dekh le ye bhi dekh le aur revision hi kar so the best part with working people is that they'll scrutinize the syllabus very well or which i did what i did i targeted 70 80% of the syllabus i did not go for 100% theek okay? hai मैंने वो सिलेबस पकड़ा जो यूपीएससी रेगुलर पूछ रहा था प्री में हो या मेंस में हो आई फोकस ऑन दैट पोर्शन एंड देन सतुन कुमार मैम बिल ओके पीपल विल बी ड्रॉपिंग द मैसेजेस आई थिंक इन बिटवीन विल टेक ऑल योर डाउट्स एंड द एंड बेसिकली व्हेन यू डू दिस क्या बोलते हैं इसको you can decide your day according to a very limited time so what i did particularly was my focus area used to be current affairs and my law portion so what i did is early in the morning i would do my current affairs so when i used to get up early in the morning so that time i was fresh matlab i used to be very fresh in the morning so i would do my current affairs and i would do my law portion in the morning so by the time it was 9 9:30 so i i already had 3 3 hours of study good 3 hours of study so one one and half hour i would give to current affairs and one two hours for law so usse kya hota tha ki there was a sense of satisfaction when i started working to so mujhe guilt nahi rehta tha ki i did not study then in the day time what i would do is i would not study anything new i would do revisions of what i have already made or what i have already done for example if i have attended a mock test in that week to uska solution mein day time mein apne haath mein print out le chala chala jata tha usi ko mark kar liya theek hai koi current affairs jo mujhe revise karna hai pichle mahine ka ya kisi mahine ka i would pick up that and do that yeah in between so anything which does not requires full attention but even if in my subconscious state i can uh, you know uh, uh, use that so i did that while working aur sham ko main jab aata tha तो आई यूज टू कीप इट मोर फॉर माय टेस्ट एंड देन द स्टैटिक पोर्शन उसका दो रीजन है कि स्टैटिक पोर्शन आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अर्लियर जब मैंने पढ़ाई करा था तो स्टैटिक पोर्शन को मैं थोड़ा वेल वर्स था सो इट वाज नॉट अ न्यू थिंग फॉर मी तो अगर मैं थोड़ा बहुत भी पढ़ के उसको रिवाइज कर लेता था सो आई वु डू दैट इन द इवनिंग हाउ एवर आई यूज टू गिव टेस्ट इन द इवनिंग उसका रीजन ये था दैट वॉज फॉर मी आई कैन नॉट टॉक फॉर एवरी I always thought that when I'm tired, and if I can write a test when I'm tired, or when I'm exhausted, 
So imagine how better I can do when I'm in a fresh, fresh state of mind. That was a quite different approach. That one. Yeah. Was... So what I would do is I would take my I would write answers in the night nine 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 o'clock to nine o'clock. I would write ten answers. I would write five answers. So what was the benefit of that? I would say that one day of study, which I had, that was the knowledge that I had in my mind. Secondly, I could take tests. That fear of writing answers was there. That I was tired. I will do it tomorrow. That went away. So this somehow worked out for me that when I used to write means examination UPSC also, I was not tired for the entire three hours. Hmm. So my attention span for that last one hour also was similar to that in the question in the first hour. So probably that is one of the reason I scored good in my GS as well as in my optional for that year. So it's like let's UPSC is like a long marathon. It's not a sprint, right? So yeah. how do you manage to keep your momentum going, especially during the low low days, like right? Because a little break that we take can be stressed to a little longer. Like how do you manage to pull yourself back from those breaks? Because those breaks are also much needed. It's not that you cannot yeah. go, yeah. right? Because it is much. Definitely. How do you manage to pull yourself back into the into the studies and reigniting all that all that passion again? How did you manage, like especially during the low days? How did you make, yeah. manage to keep your momentum going? It will be very helpful to all the other students also yeah. watching. So, yeah, see, breaks are very much needed, uh, and uh, I was a person who definitely believed on breaks. So uh, what I did is, I did not keep breaks as in study breaks from study. I kept them as perks and incentives. So people around me would tell you who were then in my uh, library also. If I study for seven days, five, six and a half, I've never studied on Sunday evening. I would write it on blank page. I never, I can never study on Sunday evening. So I have a psychological thing that Sunday is a break for me. But since all the exams, prelims, and everything happen in the morning, so I had to train myself by Sunday subah kuch karna hai. So Sunday subah, what I used to do is I would write a test. Because I was not able to study on Sunday. So I always kept my Sundays in the last two years of preparation as my test days. So I would take a test, do, study will be done. If you solve it in two or three minutes, it will be done. But I kept my then I would take a break. That was fixed. But if I have not worked, I mean, some day Friday or Thursday, I went to the party. Mein chala gaya. किसी दोस्त का बर्थडे हुआ कहीं निकल गया ब्रेक ले लिया सो देन आई वाज आई वुड डेफिनेटली नॉट गो आउट ऑन संडे दैट दैट इवनिंग दैट संडे डेफिनेटली डू समथिंग ऑन दैट बैलेंस द बैलेंस करना पड़ेगा एक्सेप्ट फॉर लाइक रिजुमिनेशन आई पर्सनली या 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 आई पर्सनली बिलीव दैट ब्रेक्स यू शुड बी टेकिंग व्हेन यू आर अबाउट टू हैव फटीग और इट्स इट कैन बी प्लान्ड तो अगर आपने 6 uh, 6 दिन के अंदर ब्रेक ले लिया है then i don't think so you don't you want a break immediately or secondly and uh, breaks are important but not so regularly also because what will happen eventually when you clear your prelims you hardly get 75 to 80 days now so you have to mentally mentally and physically prepare yourself for the mains also to bahut bacche jab hum mains dete hain to jo 12000 bacche mains likhte na usme 6000 to yahi out ho jata kyunki wo 90 din ka light yeah 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 because Your body is not habituated. See, because prelims may be you. After the third two months, you are studying 12-14 hours. Prelims are over. Six days of break are there. And if you are getting good score, you start studying. So immediately you are in a continuous momentum for 150 days. So that body, you know, fatigue comes. Your diet, your sleep, 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 Like twelve, like twelve months blueprint study plan. So that because see, it's a long, too much to cover. Like we have to prelim, yeah. we prelims mains and everything is there. How do you juggle between all them? Like what was see, the uh, what plan? If you could share, just, share I did. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did a reverse planning initially when in class three four years when I was preparing. It was always I used to plan ki abhi exams eight months dure hai. तो अभी प्री करते हैं फिर मेंस करते हैं तो क्या होता था कि यूजुअली एवरी टाइम इट वुड हैपन दैट एग्जाम से एक पंद्रह बीस दिन पहले भी मेरा सिलेबस पेंडिंग रहता था कुछ ना कुछ पेंडिंग रहेगा और क्या होता था कुछ ना कुछ बीमारी आ जाएगी या कुछ हो जाएगा आई हैव सम रीजंस दैट आई एम नॉट प्रिपेयर ऑन द डे ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन 
So when I uh, figured out, figured this out after three, four attempts, failures. So what I did is I started reverse. Kya bulta karte? So I knew ki agar uh, 28 May is exam. So I would immediately minus 20, 25 days from it. Then I would keep my prelims on 2nd of May. My target is 2nd of May. Ki 2nd of May ke baad kabhi pe exam le le, I should be ready. Now from that I dedicated my time ki chalo agar mera tayari achha hai. So 120 days is for prelims. Then a mock of 90 days for mains. A small mock of 90 days. So which eventually starts at October. So you will see yeah. October se January 15th ka time is very, very crucial very for any aspirant. The people in top one to 10,000 rank are the one who have sweat in October to January. That's a golden period. Like. That's the golden. You do how much you want in August to November. I know it is important, but does not matter if you have not worked in October to January. That is the time when you take edge because many people who have written means this year will have a fatigue period in that time. So the only chance to take a, a leap from them is this period, October to January. So my I, for me, it was very specific. Prelims say 120 days before I did my prelims. Usse 90, 95 days ka ek mock means I did. And again, before that, 120 day ka ek, uh, means ka preparation. Okay. Now, the balance in this period was when I started with the mock means. So, I on every Sunday, I would give a prelims cut test. So, hmm. in approximately uh, integrated 12 weeks, preparation is there. Yeah, yeah. So, I would not study for prelims. However, hmm. I would not but study for prelims. Yes. Uh, I would do only mains. But if it prelims come, I test it. So, so ye hota tha. yeah. So, and uh, there were some apps just with this piece question daily. Karlo, baithe, 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 baithe. Exactly. So that is right. how I planned my order. It was I think that's a good plan for people. And uh, this is a good idea that if the plan was failed in the first four months, I had a buffer for 90-95 days. Ka buffer tha. So I would do management in some of them. I said, one year, but reverse mean, sometimes one year worked out. So like in this today's digital age, like how did you, uh, like social distraction, like social media is a big hurdle, right? So how did you manage to stay away from it or did you manage to integrate them beneficially? So were there any specific techniques that you use or you, you would uh, want to share? I, I would, I would be very blunt on this because, uh, I started, uh, when there was not so much of Facebook and Insta. In fact, my Instagram account was opened after my selection. So I did not know about that much and uh, I did not have a good cell phone. Uh, I did not even have my laptop was a very basic laptop. So I did not, uh, I was not at all into social media. Like what would you suggest? So I particularly feel that when social media was heavy, it was a slippery slope. Nowadays, if you once just take a gadget, it will reels me. You don't, yeah, exactly. You don't so know. You don't get to know. So for something, basically, I think so. Old school is old school. You have to do that. Now, if the army is saying that this is a digital age of warfare, cyber warfare, then we have to do it. Now, the police is saying that the crime is. So it is not. Like, Initially, when you start preparing, if you can restrict yourself. No, I'm talking in English. <laughs> yeah. So initially, when you start preparing, I think so you have to give yourself some solace and something uh, from some cut off from the social media, not because it is bad. It is because you need to have a clean slate theory. It's a mechanism. It's called clean state theory in which when you want to have a new information or new uh, pattern in your brain uh, to read and understand, you have to start with uh, something very clean. So if you're biased by social media, now there are thousand and multiple ways to crack UPSC. You can crack UPSC in 180 days. You can crack UPSC in 120. Then there is 10 days, five days. There are UPSC you can crack in 12 hours also. Exactly. So, we need to uh, devise our own strategy. So, like, so nahi use karna hai. You need to use it very meticulously. So, like, uh, I think every aspirant has this thing that every aspirant 
on every day like they feel when they question their journey right there are days when when you question the journey so how did you reignite your passion and how the, the commitment during that time what did, what led you like what the what was the drive the what was the biggest push i think that that pulled you back and then any specific mm-hmm. books or quotes or any good personalities that you you were taking inspiration from and that you inspire who inspired you in your journey if you want to share with them, with the people around you yeah for me it was always my background which was always a continuous motivation matlab hum log jahan se aa rahe the na wahan log sirf upsc ki baatein karte the ki matlab wahan bachpan se hi example hota tha ki bhai tum koi dm ho kya up se kanpur se agar aap aa rahe hain to wahan pe chhota bachcha bhi ias ips ban ke hi sunta hai matlab agar aap puchhenge bade ho kya banna hai ban nahi paaye alag baat hai par uska sapna hi wo ias ips se shuru ho jata tha but ha we did not have resources and secondly when i started preparing i was always mocked you know my khandan mein aisa tha ki bhai it was an example ki tum upsc doge kya dena hi bahut bada wo hota tha to uh, i think I started, that's a very big thing that your background is your biggest motivation like wherever yeah. you come from like you that the why portion that why you have started doing it i think yeah true so i personally believe 90% of aspirants will have the same background because UPSC is not about just only a good job. It is also about doing things which you can not do in a common job, right? So, आपको ऐसी ऐसी चीजें, ऐसा portfolio मिलता है काम करने के लिए, which you cannot imagine, right? And such powers to work. So, एक तो वो था. Secondly, when I was working in private sector, I never had that satisfaction, personal satisfaction नहीं था. पैसा बहुत था. I in fact worked in private sector also, but there was no variation. I was doing the same job every month, every sales, वही पैसा वही. So there was no personality grooming or you know personal development. So हर चीज़ में stagnation था. So one thing I knew that once I'm in the service, it will not be stagnant for me. और मैं already private से करके आया था तो there was again a motivation कि यहाँ पे मैं जाऊँगा तो I'll do something good. इसलिए. So any quick fire tips for the for the aspirants to so that they stay on track when the life specially throws a curve ball on them like anything if you like because a closing thoughts also like how any parting mantra that you wish to to tell them that they need to be consistent how to maintain consistency and the importance of time management just a concluding thoughts so that we flow we open the floor for the questions yeah. so the first thing i would say is start with small goals very small goals and test your first thing is start with small goals for example अगर आपको आज पढ़ने बैठने हैं तो आप एक पेज में लिख लीजिए यू राइट डाउन इन अ पेज दैट आई वांट टू स्टडी पॉलिटी दिस दिस पोर्शन बट व्हेन यू स्टार्ट स्टडिंग ना यू फॉर फर्स्ट टू जस्ट प्लान योर टू आवर्स इनिशियल टू आवर्स बिकॉज वी स्टार्ट व्हेन यू हैव नॉट मेड अ टाइम टेबल एंड अंटिल यू डोंट नो योर पोटेंशियल यू विल ऑलवेज एंड अप मेकिंग रॉन्ग प्लान एंड रॉन्ग टाइम टेबल्स सो दिस ब्रिंग्स टू मी टू द सेकेंड पॉइंट दैट इज यू शुड ऑलवेज बी सेल्फ अवेयर बी सेल्फ अवेयर first one as i said is make small plans second is be self aware self aware means you should know your capability you have you should not be dependent on plans of matlab aap uh, tina dabi ka plan pad liya study plan pad liya aapne akshat jain ka study plan pad liya so they are different breed your reading plans of uh, uh, saf azil who was in uh, doctor and you are a normal engineer or you are a normal graduate from a normal college so your study and your potential is very different so you will have to handcraft yourself so self aware ho apne targets dekho jo tumne apna target diya usko achieve karte ho ki nahi karte ho are you able to fulfill your targets or not in the given time if not then modify that third thing i would like to say is if you fail in doing your these targets on a regular basis it's time for reevaluation also once you are aware you need to reevaluate are you doing the right thing or not are you going in the right strategy or not if not then you go for a mentor or you talk to someone who knows the process he will give you a bird's eye view you can tell him see for last two months i have done this i was aware i tried to do this still it is not working out how do i change this that is the role of person who is not attached to you will tell not much attached to you will tell you a neutral view okay so you need to uh, Uh, regulate your plan in that particular manner fourth thing is again 
uh, when you have renovated and done this, if there are good uh, regular successes, if your timetable and schedule, your whichever, whatever your planning is getting thorough, don't be overconfident. And if you are not doing good, continuously failing, don't be demotivated because kisi kisi ka graph, uh, someone's graph spikes and someone will have a gradual graph. So that is not the end. The end is anyone who creates the prelims, initially gate, the first gate is. And the last thing I would like to suggest is don't let people make you believe that you cannot do it. Only you are the person who knows you can do it. Okay. Your friend, your father, your mother, your family, your mentors might tell you, ki, okay, you, you might not do it, but no, no, no. Only you have the faith and you should know if you have done all the four things, right. Which I've said in the first four things, the fifth thing, you'll always be sure that, okay, no matter the number of attempts, I will definitely crack it. I might take a detour. You can take a longer tour, but eventually I'll get over it. That's it. There are always state pieces that you can end up. If not UPSC. Yeah. yeah, end up me. You can take a job part time if your family is a good, good uh, job. Exactly. Right. I understand. Many will have family pressure. Take a job. Not an issue. It's never a long. I know a person who started with uh, deputy section officer. Then he went as a sub inspector. Then he cleared Mamladda. Now he's an IAS officer. Yeah, so it's a journey that you have to follow. Yeah, Everyone yeah. has a different journey. Right. True. So, uh, dear attendees, now you have. Please feel free to put all your questions, all your queries, reasonable queries, and the queries that are suitable to this to this uh, session. So I hope this enlightening session will provide all of you an actionable takeaways. So that let's cherish this time with Prabhat sir, and the floor is open for your queries. Can you suggest how to break up the five hours? Five hours? Which five hours? I think the working professional they, they are talking about the five okay hours. working see uh, i'll tell you how how you need to do it see working professional can do it in two ways um i i tried it both ways but for me it worked in uh, i'll tell you both ways you can see which one suits you in uh one thing is on the weekdays you can do the lighter subjects when you're working you do the lighter subjects for example you do current affairs and you do some of your uh static portion which you have already read things which you are already aware about and current affairs has to be done on a regular basis again i push on this because once you start bulking current affairs you know and ignoring current affairs in a week it becomes a lot in a week it will become a lot so you are not able to cope up with that so eventually on saturday you'll end up tiring yourself oh i cannot finish the entire week so let's just go for monthly magazine so when you start with monthly magazine, that is again not done regularly. So you'll go, oh, let's go for PT or main 65. So this is a vicious cycle. Don't do that. Do current affairs like current. That is the reason it is called current affairs that you need to do on current basis. Second is take lighter subjects and on weekends go for your optional. Because optional uh, requires good attention. Go for your optional. Okay. This is one approach. Another approach is you divide your day into two parts, which I did. In the morning, I did portion in which I I could I I was strong and I wanted to give more attention. Was my current affairs and law, and the evening time I used to do GS and test papers. That's it. Wait, so you can manage both ways. Any other doubts anyone wants to ask? Only coaching material will be sufficient. Yeah. See, any coaching material is a material from major reference books. Okay, so. I would say if you are able to even cover 70% of the entire coaching material, you are a topper, but that won't happen. You will end up uh, having this much notes in your room and you will never finish that coaching material. Coaching material, if anyone has ever covered, I would, I don't know any person named who has ever covered the entire coaching material. No one has done it because it is too much. You will not be able to finish. So. Don't start with only start with one book, finish that, go for the another book, then finish that, go for the third book. Then you'll know that, okay, I am able to finish this one. I'm able to revise this much. How to deal with procrastination, Archana. Archana, uh, procrastination, give yourself small targets. 
as i said give you still small targets when you give your small self small targets and you are able to achieve and when you achieve there is a feeling of success a good feeling aata hai so when you start having a taste of that success na so i think, lage, so, I think the hai. major problem with students right now is that they are over ambitious about things right Haan. let's start with the small targets then only you will be able to achieve big Are you, right? i'll he tell you i met a momentum also right i met a aspirant he was planning mala acha batao kya karna hai sir maine uh, sir what i have decided is in august i'll prepare gs2 gs3 gs4 september i'll write all the mains and how many tests will write sir in september i'll finish all the 24 tests so i said okay give me a plan how will you finish he said sir in september there are 30 days i'll write one test every day mela if you are able to write even six tests six, six in the entire tests. month let me know he said okay i'll do that i'll do that entire year went he did not even write four tests of the test series and i'll That tell you really a similar right. example similar example is me i joined vision test series for 25000 and i wrote two test papers so don't be over ambitious start with small goals you will never procrastinate okay yes but this is not the message that we are giving you have to attempt test are no 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 this is when i was failing i wrote yeah. two test series when i was failing right. because i was procrastinating so, so the right? biggest learning that whenever we complete the syllabus please try giving test so that you evaluate yourself like what is the lesson yeah. right and so if you want to give some i think many people are asking about the note making how to go about that like do, will you prefer note making for all subjects so sir, there are certain topics that you would go for a certain important topics anything see note making uh, yeah uh, if you would have started preparation in 2011 12 na it mm-hmm. was a task yeah. in 2011 12 there was mm-hmm. not material no mm-hmm. material mm-hmm. now civils daily or every coaching is doing the work for you there are people who are hired and paid to make good notes for you so why do you want to waste your energy in especially specifically note making on a particular topic what you need to do is don't make notes you just need to concise the notes okay. people are very much uh, you know uh, interchangeably using note making and concising of notes in note making you may you read an entire article of 600 words then you derive a 250 100 uh, uh, material for 150 words which is already done by the coaching if you see samachar mandan i've seen the samachar mandan module and everything they have small uh, uh, you know uh, uh, model answers and everything i think so model answers yes yes yeah so it is already there so what you need to do is concisely if you want you can r- make a flow chart of the, those things but not in the first phase firstly you need to understand that particular topic and then make a flow chart if you want of that particular topic so that you can revise that in a quicker way so now note making is not any more about uh, remembering things it is in fact uh, about revising very quickly so that in those 9 days of examination you can see and revise and uh, you uh, reciprocate uh, exactly that is the answer but you don't need any other source to pick up for revision at least you have yeah. your one thing that is yeah. the major thing right yes any other doubts then we will be closing this thing Okay, uh, I want to talk about a beginner. Okay, sorry, Pawani uh, Shara. Can we talk about with respect to beginners? See, beginners, the best part with you is you are not aware of the enemy. Okay. Right. So, so you don't have to fear about anything. All you need to do is be uh, authentic, be original. In the first attempt, don't try to follow any uh, uh, you know topper. Just try to understand whatever the mistakes they have done. Just many mistakes. Yeah, I did not write the main answer in the initial attempts. don't do that if you are taking a test series write answers very honestly diligently so learn from the mistakes so my one advice only to all the beginners is don't do the mistakes which people who have cleared the exams are telling you bas utna hi kar loge na you will clear the exam because this because humne kafi mehenga it has costed us a lot six years of your life you it cost you a lot And then we are giving you the gyan that don't do this write test take test if you are not able to understand go to a mentor talk to someone kahi se bhi kuch bhi karo manage karo kyunki hamare samay koi nahi tha and it has costed us a lot so don't do that okay 
right i think so uh, there were people who were asking about the law option also if you could guide for the op- so the students who are having law optional i think there was some are law optional that. again uh, it is a very good option and uh, i would like to say that uh, law is a optional in which from our academy from where i did my coaching every time the topper would be a non non law graduate so i know people uh, in last three attempts who have scored the highest in law entire law optional and all of them are engineers none of them from law graduate the reason be my sir used to tell that ki hum jab law wale jab law ka optional dete na to hum bahut zyada padhne lagte hai we try to show our specialization however law needs very limited reading which we would not understand because hamare paas itna book tha those engineers that they would only read the material service service provided and they would focus on the syllabus and then they would score 292 310 and we would score around 275 280 so this was a thing so law is a very good subject to pick up for uh, law law, uh, law graduate it is very easy the best part with law is you don't go down the least you would get is 240 to 50 mm. If you're writing very bad, you're writing very very bad. Then also you'll get two thirty, two forty. So the board does not sink in law. So that is the safest part. And best part is you good get good uh, knowledge of GS two, you good knowledge of ethics. Then you get good grip on the essay paper as well. You're right. There are overlapping so, things. That yeah, a lot of overlapping and uh, your uh, in-depth understanding in the law would help you write good essays also. You have a jurisprudential aspect. so you can uh, show that in your essays as well right right any other query substantial question if you want to ask coaching classes ke sath hi standard book khatam karne hain baad kuch nahi hota coaching ke baad kuch nahi hota hai coaching jiska padhaya if they have taught you aaj go and finish that chapter that same particular day don't leave this anything this is what i hours. was telling them before you joined only right two hours if you're taking coaching then two hours you have to give after the class also mm-hmm. revise and all it is it is never like that aaj sir ko polity mein khatam kar le do fir uske baad main 10 din mein polity taiyar karunga fir wo kabhi nahi hoga wo panchwa chhatta attempt khatam ho jayega polity taiyar nahi hoga your first attempt is very much crucial uh, give 100 or 200 percent in it and leave this habit of procrastination to the to side at least for again, one year this again yeah yeah uh, if you have small goals very small goals what are the small goal you went to coaching sir has taken a lecture of 2 hours you need to go home and prepare it that in 1 hour because you have since you have heard it in the class you will be easily able to understand that 1 and 1/2 hour so this is a small goal so my target for today was uh, reading what i have studied in the class today and reading the newspaper and doing some of my optional khatam do that for four months you are ready for the mains preparation give your test in october to january and then start preparing for prelims you are in the next okay this was one person who has been constantly asking them how to deal with frustration so how to I deal with frustration see again uh, frustration is what very uh, upsc ka gyan dete hain aise aa gaya frustration se kaise deal karte hain एक बात बताओ वॉट इज फ्रस्ट्रेशन फ्रस्ट्रेशन इज यू है फर्स्ट रीजन इज यू आर नॉट पुटिंग रीच देर एंड सेकेंड रीजन कैन बी एक्सटीरियर रीजन मतलब किसी और ने ऑब्स्टिकल क्रिएट कर दिया आपके उस चीज में नाउ द सिंपल अप्रोच इज If there the the reason is secondary, for example, आपको आज पढ़ना था आपके लाइब्रेरी में लाइट चली गई आपके मोहल्ले में लाइट चली गई बहुत गर्मी है अब मैं तो नहीं बोलूंगा कि कैंडल लगा के पढ़ो भाई गर्मी में नहीं बैठ पा रहे हो नहीं पढ़ाई करे सो आर दीज थिंग्स इन योर कंट्रोल देर नॉट इन योर कंट्रोल सो देर इज नो रीजन गेटिंग फ्रस्ट्रेटेड बट टूडे यू हैड प्लान अ डे इवेंचुअली यू डू नॉट स्टडी फॉर दैट पीरियड एंड यू डू नॉट फिनिश दैट पर्टिकुलर गोल and then at the night you get frustrated this is because of your own issues theek hai to ye nahi karna if you are giving uh, yourself a target you have to finish that 
और वन मोर रीजन फॉर फ्रस्ट्रेशन इज ओवर जो मैम ने बताया था ना अभी आपको बहुत ओवर ओवर हाँ कि आज ही मैं एक टेस्ट भी लिख दूंगा आज ही मैं आई डू रिविजन ऑल्सो नो 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 दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल प्रैक्टिकली नॉट पॉसिबल सो यू नीड टू फिनिश दैट इन टाइम ओके सो फ्रस्ट्रेशन डीलिंग इज वेरी सिंपल गिव योर सेल्फ गुड स्मॉल टारगेट इन दी आई एम टॉकिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस इन द इनिशियल फेज बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ यू आर हियर द बेसिक रीजन इज दैट इधर योर करेंट प्लान इज नॉट वर्किंग और यू हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड and or you need so, some valuable inputs yeah. or insights for the people who have already cleared right who right learning from the mistakes so uh, micro planning in the initial phase will help you a lot to do all the five things which i have told you that you'll uh, firstly you'll have small goals you'll understand yourself aware you'll be then able to regulate yourself and talk to someone who can guide you and all the other things and you'll not feel failed स्मॉल टारगेट अचीव करने में बहुत अच्छा सक्सेस फीलिंग आता है बहुत अच्छा और एक बार आदत लग जाएगी ना वेन यू हैव द टेस्ट ऑफ दैट सक्सेस सो यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट मोर रेगुलरली लेट नाइट यू कैन स्टडी आई डोंट माइंड आई हैव नेवर नोन आई हैव नोन पीपल हु स्टडी ऑल नाइट वो पहले होता था इफ यू आर एबल टू गिव योर सेल्फ गुड फाइव आवर्स एवरी डे i think so 5 to 6 hours every day i don't uh, uh, we i don't personally don't get it is in the day or the night exactly the qualitative study that matters it's not the quantity or it's not the time that when you are studying it depends on you i think the person is asking ai you. can help in preparation rajendra i'm really bad at ai i'm very old yeah. school i used to have my notes in my register i not i maintained a file i don't use a gadget so um, very bad person in that No, I, now I've got text heavy, but uh, back then I had files, but very well synchronized. So if you ask me a topic, I'll know in which file, which number that topic is. I was so well, uh, you know, uh, synchronized with my notes. Okay. Contemporary legal development topics in law syllabus. Uh, Anikor, uh, there are different materials, uh, different coaching. They have started with this uh, contemporary legal legal topics. and newspaper always help so there is not much to do in that muskan you can read the hindu newspaper very simple way there are some tamacha mantan is always to help you one newspaper is always there but to cover everything comprehensively from mains point of view there are very much good good courses that are available to you guys so you can take always help from that because don't waste your time note from on note making from the newspaper but at least refer to newspaper always for the basic understanding of whatever is happening around ha ah, true All right you don't have to waste time you read the newspaper understand the topic someone has made a note for you just uh, if you want you can uh, always uh, uh, improvise the notes for okay. example there are 10 points you think there should be more two points write down your points and if you think these two points are not relevant for according to me just cut down that points anyhow you are saving labor no don't do that uh, uh, this guy is the unemployment hota hai na wo mat karo yahan pe should we study ncert with the standard book this is yeah ncert padhoge to standard book samajh mein aa jayegi it Or, will help you understand the standard book better haan. because ha they are not a substitute of each other in fact i think so they always work in tandem, tandem. both they of them complement each other yeah so they are not substitute of each other agar aap uh, wo, uh, democracy at work pad rahe ho to it is not it can never be replaced by lakshmikant lakshmikant mein you won't find those things aur lakshmikant mein jo hai wo isme nahi hai us utne clear tarike se but at least when you read constitution at work as i was telling so it will provide you insights about the lakshmikant yeah. brief introduction about lakshmikant like how what will be studying right? so do read it before you go to the lakshmikant that will give you better insights better understanding of the lakshmikant anxiety is like a warm up you do before a match right exactly warm up right. muscle tear ho jayega book dekh ke great examples sir uh, has given you i think you must have got its great insights also so you mentioned plan so, um, after this but 
sir is a minimum of 2 years preparation required for cracking you as a working profession or as a working entertainment no no i'm saying is preparation one year is good one year is your honest attempt saga if you are listening to this i'm not saying that you have to prepare only for 2 years one year of preparation one year of preparing in the examination first attempt should be an honest attempt five years if you work for one year i think so you'll be in the top 100 no one does that for one year if you are able to concentrate that for one year you will be in the top 100 yeah rahul yadav has to reply my question but your question if you are giving your optional uh, exam in 2025 when should i complete my optional you should complete your optional first reading with notes by september of 2024 you should have a proper revision of your optional in october november december and january 15 of 2025 after that you can revise your pyq still one or two months march maybe along with prelims and then you give your 2025 attempt ni bigger institute ka test series dena zaruri nahi hai but test series likhna bahut important ho gaya because everyone today is writing a good answer so these days no one writes a bad answer it is just how good you are and how very good he or she is that's it right value addition in non notes again you have to do newspaper anit ko okay no uh, newspaper and then there are material for law notes you can definitely go for live law i used to like live law so i did live law and they had good judgments and they would pick out uh, on the top 50 judgments of last year top 100 judgments of last year and this is for all the people right gs may be do that thing live law ka yearly ek aata hai top 50 or 100 judgments of last year and this help okay i'll tell you this thing they help me a lot maine kya kiya unka case ka naam liya aur unke top line likhi hoti hai four lines that i kept with me and i wrote down all the 100 and i used to read it on continual continuous basis matlab mahine mein teen char bar dekhta tha and i have quoted that and i scored 123 in polity gs2 124 in gs2 so works works really good of course it's the best way of ever value addition also right like you yeah. using this judgments and the conclusion part will fetch you great marks amazing and they have quotes from the judges how can you make a better line than a judge so right. just quote the name of the judge and works great I think that's all for the session. Let's take a last question if you want. Yeah. And then we'll wrap up the session. Any the law? See, law question. I want to answer, but again, it will be very specific for you. I want to solve uh, talk about a question which is common for everyone. See, coaching is not mandatory. Nikhil Damod, I'll address this question. कोचिंग इज नॉट अगेटिव टर्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड इट्स नॉट बिकॉज आई एम टॉकिंग ऑन कोचिंग प्लेटफॉर्म इज बिकॉज वी हैव मेड दैट टर्म वेरी नेगेटिव कोचिंग इज वॉट द लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ कोचिंग इज टू मेंटर यू आर कोचिंग सम टू डू समथिंग इज नॉट गोइंग टू पुट एवरीथिंग इन योर माउथ rather we come with a image in our head jab hum when we will go to coaching they will spoon feed everything to us and then in one year will be an is officer and then when do we don't become then we say oh xyz coaching is bad xyz people have cleared it without coaching because as your because discipline self study equally effective i was a person with low will power which i realized after 3 to 4 attempts then i took coaching then i took mentoring so what helped me that i was able to have a disciplined self study routine so if you have a disciplined self study routine you go without coaching many people from iit and iim and medical do that because not because they are special no 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 that's a myth that is because they have done this particular exercise after 12th when they go to kota when they go to kota they start learning to be self disciplined and self you know organized 
So right. they have done their homework earlier in the life. So they, they just reciprocate that same method formula in UPSC. Okay. But if you're not so strong in willpower, take a coaching, a, a coach or a mentor who will help you be regular, disciplined and have your self-study. This can be through test series. This can be through mentoring. This can be through classes also. That's it. Okay. So don't take it negative. If I have coaching, then my credibility will be bad. No one will ask. No one will write in IAS. 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 Okay. The result means that all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Exactly. Ultimately, your effort matters. That, yeah. that you put in. The hard work that you put in. Right. I think that let's wrap this session. And thank you so much, sir, for taking your time out. From your busy schedule, and we managed to have such an insightful session. I think people would have taken a lot from this session, and we'll continue to have such more, right? Let's because there is no end to the questions that we have. Right? We'll have to stop it somewhere. We'll have more sessions. Yeah, exactly. We'll have more sessions, more interactive sessions, so that you get to know more about the preparation and all all the insights if you want to take further also, right? All right, sir. Uh, uh, Read a blog of Riju Bafna. You can write it down. Riju Bafna. There's a blog of Riju Bafna, and uh, then there is uh, Shubham on law, and uh, that's more than enough. They've written, and uh, I'll tell you just. Just a second, I just there's a topper named Jaspinder from Punjab. Jaspinder, IAS rank thirty three, twenty twenty one. He has a Telegram channel in which he has mentioned all the sources, and I have the similar sources. I might start my own Telegram thing in a month or two. I'll definitely update you easily about that. Right. Okay. Should be all right, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for having. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night, Thank everyone. You. All the best. Thank you so much.